Hello and welcome to the beginning of this series of tutorials where I'm going to have a look at how we can take a really, really small game that we made with uh, a capture the flag um, template and a package that I made about flying balloons a few tutorials ago. I've mashed those two together and I've essentially made uh, a game and then over the course of the next few tutorials, I'm going to have a look at publishing that game and then gathering feedback from players and constructive comments and complaints and bugs uh, and all of that kind of stuff. And then I'm going to look at how I go about uh, accumulating that kind of feedback, then using it in some way to improve the game. So uh, with any kind of creative endeavor, endeavor, as soon as you put it out there and it's public, it is going to be open to some kind of feedback and criticism from different people. Um, and with that can come a little bit of an ego check where you, this thing that you've lovingly spent ages working on can get some um, some comments that maybe, you know, aren't the way you wanted them to go. Many people will absolutely love it and some people might not particularly like it. And then it's up to you as a game maker to decide whether to do something about that or to not. Uh, and that's your creative choice. So I'm hoping that I get some quality feedback from different people. And, uh, and then I can use it to iterate on my game and improve it. Uh, so the essential crux of this game is that it's a, it's a capture the flag game, uh, except you fly a balloon. So the idea is it's a team based game and one team starts one side, the other team starts the other side and you have to fly to the other side to capture the flag. It's quite challenging to fly the balloon. I'm not going to lie. Um, and that's why I haven't kept the combat in there so I've taken the guns out I just want it to be really really simple to start with uh, and also I wanted the combat to be kind of open to what people think I'm really interested in hearing some other people's opinions about what kind of um, yeah what kind of combat system this game needs does it need one if it does need one does it want something like mines and static sort of things that could explode or is it better to have guns or harpoons um i mean harpoon balloon was like almost too good a pun to pass up when i was making the game but i, I held off because i didn't want to put combat in it from the very beginning i wanted to leave that open to some feedback so uh keeping this game small has meant that i'm not super uh tied down to any one aspect of it um I've really, really enjoyed making it, but it's a very short term game project and I'm just now I'm going to put it out there and see what people think and I can adjust and tweak and change things however, um, however is necessary. So it's time for me to publish my game. So to do that, I can press escape. I can go to the create tab and then find the game that I want to publish, which is this balloon typhoon, lava dash, uh, and then click publish. Uh, the, another way I could do this is by heading over to create.creator.com. Uh, and then going to the create tab, finding the game in there, and then going through adding the details of the game. So adding the name and the description, some cover images and supporting images and that kind of thing. Uh, and then clicking on the publish tab, adding some tags and then clicking publish. So there's a couple of different ways you can publish a game. Uh, I'm going to click publish in here uh, and just make sure that all of this is correct. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, make sure to add tags. You get a choice of six tags and they are the best way for people to find out about your game without visiting the forum or the Discord or things like that. So um, it's a really good opportunity for you to um, showcase your game in, in a different area within Crater. Um, and then at the end, click publish game. And that's now being made live and now people are going to be able to play it. Ooh. Okay, so... Um, game is published. I've added tags. I've added a description. I haven't added any good screenshots because I don't currently have any. I need people to play my game in order to gather those screenshots. And I'm hoping that people I ask to help me out playing the game might be able to take some super cool, exciting screenshots for me. Um, and then I can use those as promotional material in, uh, in the game. So the game is live. Uh, and now it's time to think about how am I going to gather the feedback? So let's head over to forums, forum.creators.com uh, and log in there. And I can then add my game as a new game in this section of the forum, 
which is called game releases. So when you go to forum.creator.com, log in and then head over to game releases and make sure to add your game in there. You can also do this with any updates that you make to your game. Once you've done that, another good idea might be to head over to the Discord and go into the Play My Game channel and let everyone know that your game is now live, you're open to feedback, you're excited for people to play it and jump in the games with them, engage with your players and play with them uh, and listen to the comments that they say um, and, and see if it's a fun game, whether it could be more fun and what you could do to improve it. So make sure you're chatting to your players. Uh, you can always gather some friends together, also on Creator, uh, and dive into the game altogether. Maybe they want to help you edit the game and improve it that way. Uh, and then once you've started um, getting feedback for your game, make sure you're recording that somewhere so you could chuck it all in a document or just write yourself some sticky notes. Things like bug fixes that you need to do, uh, comments that someone has made, maybe some improvement suggestions, maybe a list, a wish list of features that your players want. You can stick them all on sticky notes and put them somewhere so that, you know, when you've got a five minutes, you can take like a five minute task and go, ah, I'll do that, I'll do that one. So making sure we get, you gather your feedback. I'm going to be doing that with this game. Uh, I'm really excited to see how Adam and Russ uh, tackle the game and, and see what they think of it. Uh, and I'm really excited to see if any other players play it because it's live and it's published and yeah, people can play it. Uh, so I'm going to be writing on the forum and I'm writing, I'll write in the Discord uh, and I look forward to seeing you in my game in Crater.